what's up? I want to do another 24 hour reading challenge vlog type thing. I did one at the end of last summer and that's the only one I've ever done, but I really want to do another one. I've been thinking about it for a while. I'm scared because I need my sleep. <laughs> Last time, it took three days for me to do it. I did like eight hours each day. So I kind of want to ease my way into doing an actual 24 hour reading vlog because I really like watching people who actually do the full 24 hours. So we're gonna work our way towards that goal. I'm just filming an intro now. I don't know when I'm gonna start this, but I just wanna get the intro filmed so I have it. And that way whenever I'm in the mood to start the challenge, I can just go right into it. For my March TBR, I did have to pick the last two books of the Gold Rush Rant series by Elsie Silver. And I had said that I wanted to binge this series anyway. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do. I think I would, realistically like to try to stay up for 24 hours but i truly don't think i can i just want to keep it to where i'm not going to be struggling or upset with myself for not sleeping and forcing myself to stay up we're going to keep it safe for now and try to do maybe like 12 hours in two days i'm not entirely sure we'll see how it goes these are just standalone contemporary romances they're set kind of in the same world as chestnut springs i have completed that series absolutely loved it i want to get into another series by her and i think this might be her first series that she's written. Off to the Races, A Photo Finish, The Front Runner, and A False Start. But yeah, that is my goal for this video. So welcome to my 24-hour reading challenge. <laughs> Who started this? Why you gotta do this to us? But also like, why do we want to do it so bad? I don't know. I don't know, I couldn't tell you. It is currently Monday, March 18th, and I feel like I'm gonna push this off so much, but I can't. I have to do this. This is why I'm filming this right now, so I have it started. No excuses. Wish me luck. Hello, it is actually the next day. So I'm very surprised that I got up and started doing this, but I figured if I don't start now, I'm going to keep pushing it off and I'm not going to I'm not going to do it. It's currently 10:20 right now. It's been three hours. I started off to the races. I'm on page 195. I think there's like 364 pages, so I'm over halfway through. It's going good so far, and it's funny because I woke up this morning at 7, and it was dark outside. I'm like, I wonder what time it is. And then when I realized it was literally exactly 7, I was like, okay, I think I can start this. I'm feeling good about it. And then for some reason, I was telling myself that I was like, okay, it's 7 a.m. on Tuesday. I'll be finished reading at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. I, what did I think 24 hours was? I don't know. But I was like, dang, that's a long time, but like, it's gonna be rough. <laughs> but then I realized 24 hours is 7 a.m on Wednesday and not 7 p.m. That's 36 hours. So I don't know where my brain was this morning. Then after I realized I only had to stay up till 7 a.m., I am very confident that I can do this now. So I'm gonna attempt it. I'm gonna attempt the whole 24 hours. Worst case scenario, I think I may stay up till like 3 a.m. and then go to bed. And then whatever time I have left, I'll just finish up tomorrow. Currently reading this. I am liking it so far. I think it's a little slow and there's kind of weird time gaps between things. I was expecting a little more with this whole like training process with this horse that they're working with right now. This is about Vaughn. He has this company, basically this ranch company. They race horses and it's this huge thing. Our other main character, Billy, she has been a trainer since she was young. That's where she started out working and she worked her way up. They both have very rich families, but they have family issues issues so they kind of connect in that way. Billy got hired under Vaughn so he's her boss. She's working to train this horse to get ready for races. I like Billy as a main character and then Violet from Chestnut Springs is in this book. I think we get one of her books. I'm not sure which one it is in this series. But yeah so far it's not bad. I am liking it. I just don't really feel a connection between the two of them. It is an enemies to lovers type situation. In this case it was like an instant attraction and then when you're dealing with the enemies it's just bickering pretty much. I'm a little iffy about that but it doesn't make me not like the book. That's pretty much my updates right now. But like I said, she's training a horse to be a good racer and I wish that we had gotten more of the process of that. We had gotten it in the beginning but then it kind of just jumped a little bit in time. I was a little disappointed in that because I wanted more of the process. I thought it was really interesting to see her connection with this horse. Yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna keep reading. 21 hours left so yay me. <laughs> One is finished. I am at 
We're at 19 hours, 21 minutes. Fun, fun, fun. This one, I really like the concept of the whole horse racing and everything because I used to ride horses when I was younger. I've always loved that atmosphere of a barn and horses and just being around them. That is the main reason I wanted to read this series because it's just nostalgic for me and it's something that I used to love as a kid. So with all that being in here, I really appreciated it and it was just a nice story to follow. I do wish we had gotten a little more of the story behind the horse. Our main character, Billy, and this horse had a very great connection and it made me so happy and emotional and I loved it a lot. Billy and Violet became very good friends in this book. The next book is Violet's story so I'm even more excited to read that one. I really like Billy as a main character. Not gonna lie, I kind of hated the male main character, Vaughn. I just, he did unforgivable things and then obviously like he was gonna redeem himself but he didn't come up with the decision to do that himself. He had to get some sense knocked into him by literally every other character in the book. So I just don't think that it was his actual opinion to do that. Throughout the book, there were a lot of things that he did that I didn't really like either. So I wasn't a huge fan of him, but I love the female main character. Obviously, this is the first one kicking it off. So it wasn't too bad, but I didn't love it like I thought I would. Now we are moving on to the next one, which is... Let me go get it. Alright, this one is a photo finish. This is Violet and Cole's story. So Cole is the brother of Vaughn from the first book. And Violet was a jockey in that book, so I don't know if she's continuing that. I'm still tired from this morning. I don't know why, but I just... I'm hoping I get some energy here in a little bit. It's exactly noon right now, so it's been almost five hours. I definitely need to switch up my location because I'm already tired of being in this bed. And I know that I'm going to spend my whole night in here, so I am about to move over to my office or something. Wait, I forgot. <laughs> I didn't rate the first one, but I'm giving this one a three stars, I think. I'm going to sit on these ratings until the end of the video, too. But I will give an initial rating as soon as I finish the book. So right now, my initial rating for this one is a three star. I feel like I need to put my contacts in because this glare on my glasses is really annoying. Completely unrelated to this video, too. I <laughs> Every morning, I wake up and my cat's always yelling at me outside the door. He just waits for me to get up. And he wasn't doing that this morning. I didn't see him. So I was like, oh, you know, I got up earlier than normal. Maybe he wasn't expecting me to be up yet. Of course, like, if I don't see him for a while, I'm like, okay, I miss him. Where is he? So I go look for him. He's not in the other room. I'm the bed where he normally is. I'm looking all over the house calling his name, not coming out. I figured he's probably locked in the garage. So I open the garage door, he comes running in. I'm like, dude, you've been out there probably since like 6 a.m. and a half hours left <laughs> and I'm on page 131 of book two. I like this one better than the first one. I like Violet a lot. I thought I was gonna not like Cole because of what I had from him in the first book but I actually really like him in this one. We get flashbacks to how they were connected in the past and then now they're obviously at this ranch together. This one's funny because Violet as you, we know if you've read Chestnut Spring she's the younger sister of all of her three brothers. So she moved out to this city away from Chestnut Springs. She actually ended up uploading a naked picture of herself online. I think like this one app or whatever. And Cole actually used that app, but I guess they didn't know who each other was. So then obviously you get Cole showing up and then he recognizes Violet and he's like, oh, yikes. Okay. That whole concept of them in their past is very interesting and funny to me. It just makes me like their connection more. We're about a third of the way. Excited to continue this. I feel like I've been reading forever now. Just gonna keep trucking along. It's just been a little while longer. Have 16 hours and 48 minutes left. But I just want to say that this one, the characters feel more human. I feel a really strong connection between the two of them. The way that this story is laid out, it feels more like a flowing story. A lot of the scenes are in the correct spots. There's a good distance between certain things being brought up and it's all just fitting together well. It's flowing really nice. The romance in this one is definitely a lot better than the first one. It's more emotional and they have a stronger connection with each other, which just feels more real and more realistic. And that is what I love. Cole's really sweet and Violet's a great person too. I'm finding a lot of connections 
with myself in these two characters. It makes it an easier read and easier to connect to the story. So far, so good. <laughs> this is terrible lighting. Uh, anyway, as you can tell, I'm no longer at my house. I needed a change of scenery and just to get out of my room. So I came to the park. I had to mail something, so I had to leave anyway. We are at... You probably can't even see that. 14 hours and 9 minutes. I am just letting the clock run because I plan on staying up for the full 24 hours. If I was doing like increments of 8 hours or 12 hours, I would stop the clock. But since I'm pushing through, I'm not I'm not stopping it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I finished... What's it called? A photo finish? I finished that. I have the front runner now. A photo finish, I really liked. Cole and Violet's relationship hit me more than the first one did. But I really love them. Violet and Billy from the first book and this other girl, Mira, they all have that really close girl relationship that's just adorable and I love the three of them so far and I think Mira's the girl in this one so this is the third one this is the front runner this is Stefan and Mira's book it says it's fake dating Stefan we got introduced to in the first book which he was not a likable person at all but at the end of a photo finish there was a little excerpt that Elsie wrote in there and she was like give him a chance like he's really the best book boyfriend <laughs> you gotta stick through the story he's actually a good person so we'll see this I think is like 372 pages also there's a reader's note in the beginning and it says that there are references to animal death and i do not do well with that at all especially if it's a horse i'm gonna be a mess so i'm scared to start this one mira's a vet and she works with horses and stuff and then stefan owns a company just like Vaughn did in the first one so he hires racers jockeys and then mira sometimes works on his ranch everything's connecting pretty well apparently stefan has been asking her out for years and she's always said no but she needs something and he's offering it so she she starts fake dating him. Bro, why are romance books so cringy? On the, it says, and when he touches me, we sizzle. <laughs> if he calls her a kitten, okay, I don't like this. Oh well. Hopefully he has other good qualities. I'm gonna chill at the park for a bit. We're 10 hours into this thing. I'm not hating it. I think that I can do this. I mean, as of right now, it's just a normal day for me. Like, I got up when my body woke me up. It hasn't been too bad reading constantly. Usually I get tired and I just set the book down and want to do something else, but I haven't had that issue today, so that's good. I know that it's going to get worse. I think I can go through 1 a.m., but I think after 1 a.m. hits, I'm going to have a hard time. And I don't drink coffee or anything, so I don't ever consume caffeine really i just have me to keep me up and my energy <laughs> it could be rough but i have hopes i have high hopes i think i can do it i'm confident in myself because so far i'm just chilling but we could go very downhill anyway i'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna get into reading i know when i get tired though i'm gonna read really slow because that's how i was this morning i was barely reading it was taking me a while um, anyway i'm gonna shut up um this is like 10 minutes future me i don't know if i said my writing for a photo finish but i was debating four stars I think I might give it a 3.75, but once again, I'm gonna let that simmer a little bit and give a final review at the end of this video. Uh, but yeah, I don't remember if I said that. Guys, we hit the halfway point. I cannot be more stoked to hit the 12 hour mark. Now I feel like it's really game time and I really have to focus. The sun is setting. I'm hungry. I have to pee. So I'm gonna go home. I like this one. I think I'm liking them more as the series go. There's a car coming. I'm gonna talk about this down here because there's a car. This is such bad lighting. I'm so sorry. I think I might like the second one the best so far still, but I do like this one too. Stefan and Mira are both great characters. I do like learning about them and their backstories. The only thing I'm noticing with the three of these books up until this point, I feel like there's something missing with the storyline or the plot. Like, I just need a little more. I can't latch on to it. I'm still really enjoying these reads. They're good books, having a good time, but I just feel like there's something missing.
just finished this one. I think I'm gonna give it like a 3.5 stars. The story in this one had a lot more depth to it. There was a lot of different plot points that came into it that I really liked. It gave me a little more than the other two books have, but I think I know why I'm not loving them and it's because every book so far has had that conflict at the end with the couple that's just driving me up the wall and it's always some sort of miscommunication. It's like, oh, you didn't tell me something, you lied to me. Like, it's not a lie it's just they were waiting for the right time to tell you something and then the other person always gets mad and then it's complicated and i just i don't like that i want a book where the characters can talk it out and understand each other the second book actually wasn't too bad with that situation there was still something in there that led to a conflict that was a little frustrating but the characters dealt with it better but this one I think i like this conflict the least but i like that we got more to this story there was less of horse aspects or racing aspects in this one it was more just about the characters and their life and their history give this one a 3.5 like it more than the first i think the second one is still my favorite now we are starting a false start with nine hours and two minutes left it's getting rough I can tell you that right now. This one is about Griffin, who we briefly got mentions of in the last book, and then Nadia, who is Stefan's sister. So she was kind of welcomed into the girlfriend group. I'm liking her so far. There's a bad first impression, but she's good now. This is Brother's Best Friend. In a 14 year age gap. Okay, well, here we go. It's 1.30. I have them all like, I'm so tired. I have almost six hours left. I have this much left. I'm reading this so slow because I just can't focus on it. I don't even know what the story is anymore. They won't stop doing it and I just am bored. <laughs> I think I might finish this and then go to bed and then just finish off what I have tomorrow. I have Pitch Perfect on. Can you even tell? But I keep getting distracted by that and I'm not reading. I have no thoughts. I can at least finish this book. It's three. I just finished this. I'm checking out for the night. 3 a.m. was my original goal and I finished the whole series. So yeah, I have four hours left. Whenever I wake up, I'll start Bride, I think. I don't know. Um, I'm about to, I'm about to pass out, so I'll see you tomorrow. I feel like I lost my voice for some reason. Like it, I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. Listen, I don't remember what I said last night because I was checked out at that point, but you saw I finished a false start. Honestly, guys, I think I'm gonna give this one a two stars. I don't know if it was because I was tired, which is why I didn't start Bride last night because I want to be like fully immersed in that story and I wanna be able to give a fully like well-energized, well-rested opinion on that book. This one, of course, I was kind of getting out of energy at this point. It seemed too repetitive with their romance plot line even and there wasn't a ton of backing plot behind it. Of course, for me and romances, I love there to be other plots in there. I like there to be the main plot and then focus on the romance because it is romance but I don't like the romance to just completely stick out because I feel like you can't do too much with that and it always gets to the point where the characters are just taking their clothes off and I don't want to keep reading about that. There was maybe a page or less than a page of something that gave to the original plot and then they were occupied which that may be some people's preferences in books but it's just personally not mine so when I read books like that I don't tend to like them but even the plot in this one I don't I'm not an age gap person and with this one being a 14 year age gap it was a little weird. I think I will stick with the two star for this one. This is definitely my least favorite. I'll get into the series as a whole after I finish the rest of this challenge but now we're moving on to Bride. I'm not gonna finish this book in this vlog. You're gonna end on a little cliffhanger with my thoughts. I'm sorry but I've read too much in the past day and I don't want to try to force myself to finish this book. I have another video to upload. I gotta do things and I just need to catch up on other stuff. I just don't really want to spend the time today to get through this whole entire book. I'm probably gonna get a little over halfway. We have three and a half hours left. I cannot believe I read four books like consistently. That's insane. Every time I like it doesn't seem hard but then when you're actually I don't know. I'm running on five hours of sleep. I still don't know what I'm saying. First update, I'm on chapter 7, page 97, like a third of the way through. No, a quarter of the way through. I'm liking it so far. There's a lot happening. There's a lot of secrets between different characters. It gives you something 
to want to keep reading for. So the wares and the vampires don't like each other and then they have the humans who don't like either of them. There's always like some collateral thing where the vampires send one of their people to the humans and they keep them for a while. So our main character Misery was one of those. She lived with the humans. She was kind of acting like a human. And then she has her best friend Serena that she lived with who is a human and she is actually missing right now. She's trying to figure out where she is. So there's that underlying mystery. Misery just got married to Lo Morlin who is the awful werewolf. Right at the beginning when all this was explained, Misery, as soon as she heard Lo's name, she was like, okay, yes, I'll marry him. But she was very hesitant about marrying a were. So I don't know why she wants to marry him so bad. I don't know what there is between them or what she knows about his name. There's just a lot of things that keep coming up that make you question people's intentions and where the story's gonna go. I like it a lot. I like a lot of twists and turns. I think this one's gonna be good. I have less than two hours left. I have an hour and 49 minutes. I can't wait to not read a book. <laughs> tired. <laughs> I made it to chapter 16, page 207. I'm still really liking this so far. I like where the story's going. I like the characters a lot. I like the writing. Don't have anything negative to say about it. That is that. And then just to wrap up, I have successfully read a whole entire series in 24 hours. Final ratings for these, I'd give the first one three stars. The second one, I'm doing a 3.5 third is a 3.25 and then the last one is a two on average about a three star series for me i did enjoy it i had fun with the characters i really liked them i liked their connections with each other that we got to get familiar with as the series went on the only thing for me i feel like it was pretty repetitive throughout the books especially with the writing there was a lot of figures of speech that were brought up and they were the same in every book which i mean it's bound to happen i guess but it was just noticeable binging this series and reading it one book after the other you could definitely see the repetitiveness and i had just wish we'd gotten more of that small town ranch horse story and plot line we really didn't get too much on that it just kind of took away from something that could make the story even better overall i did like this i like lc silver and this was her first series and then lastly there's a thing too with these romances i don't know if i mentioned it i feel like the first impressions we were getting from the characters weren't good like we were intended not to like them so it's hard to root for a character to be in a relationship with the other main character in this book when you immediately don't like them or they're doing something that's a little frowned upon or unforgiving. I think that's why I had such a hard time with the romance aspect of this series because if you're not a good person like why would I root for you? It was pretty much all the guys. They didn't have a reason to be a jerk but they were all jerks pretty much. <laughs> good series overall pretty average and I would still recommend it but if you want like something super in-depth probably not gonna get that from this I would just recommend reading this when you want a quick fast read and that is all I did my 24 hours <sighs> I am not going to do this again for a very long time. I had fun. I really did. And I'm proud of myself for staying up as long as I did. And the fact that I had so much confidence that I could stay up till 7 a.m. That immediately went away after like midnight hit. So yeah, uh, I did what I could do. And I'm still happy with the outcome. Thanks for hanging out with me through these 24 hours. It was a little miserable, but that's okay. I will see you guys in my next video, whatever that may be. I hope you have a great day, great night, get some sleep. And I will see you later. Bye. <laughs>